This week on The Dirt Shed Show, it's time to mark your own homework. Are you really a mountain biker? And if you're not, we'll tell you what to do. Loads more coming up, plus we talk about that crash. What about some old school skills? And Hardline, was it really that hard? Oh. It's all coming up on The Dirt Shed Show. Yes, welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show, where I am accompanied by Neil Donahue, oh. Rich Payne over there on the couch, Hello. some fantastic mountain bikers. <gasps> or are they? <laughs> that is the question today. I want to get into the DNA of the mountain biker. And are these guys really that good? Are they that really good. mountain bikers? Am I really a mountain biker? We want you guys to grade us today and decide who's the most mountain biker out of all of us, right? Whoa. So Whoa. You've got the flannel shirt on, I've so got the flannel shirt on. I've come prepared. Rich did have one on, but he took it off, so <laughs> got a little tech. bit of a lead on here. Right, <laughs> so on this bit of paper, right, I've kind of scored you guys. Okay? Oh, right. I've, right. I've basically got a rundown of what you really are. Now, now Neil, you're a true out-and-out -out racer. Was? A, a true out-and-out -out racer. But like you say, was. No. Not, not anymore, you're not racing anymore. You're more like the real man. You're you're a MTB dad. E-biker you know, as well. An e-biker. Does, does that lose me a point? You're sort of a weekend warrior a little bit. <laughs> and, oh, wow. and, and you're the occasional, you know, uh, destination rider too, thanks to the world of GMBN. Yeah. Okay, so you're a bit like, uh, you know, and you love going fast, like the clunkers of old, you know? Yeah. The original Call guys. Old. I am old. Yeah, a little bit old. Yeah. Um, Rich, okay, Rich Payne over there, right? Oh, uh, yeah. He wants to be fit. He wants to get out there. He wants to challenge himself. Yeah. And he does it every week on GMBN. You want to race at an elite level, like the clunkers of old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which one's which, right? Which one's the real man bug? What about myself, all right? Okay, back in my bipedal days, <laughs> yeah. I was a hardtail rider, okay? I kept it legit. Yeah, I took mountain rigid, bikes. Right? Rigid. Have you ever rigid. ridden a proper bike? Probably never ridden a That's enough bike. of that. That's enough of that. <laughs> uh, back in my, my trials days, I would take on obstacles you guys would cry when you saw, oh, okay? It's true. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. a enough. clunker of old. <laughs> okay, see where I'm going with this? Yeah. What about Blake Samson? Okay, Blake Sampson, okay, he will take on 90 feet jumps, he'll backflip anything, he's got every trick in the book, um, and he can even build his own hardtail, like the clunkers of old, <laughs> all right? Where but are we going? which one is the real mountain biker? Who's got the most mountain bike? Guys, justify yourself. Rich, are you more mountain bike than all of us? No. Exactly. That's a short-ended answer. Let's go with a different one. I am just as much a mountain biker as anyone out there because I just enjoy riding my mountain bike. But I do oh. enjoy getting out in the mountains. Yeah. I wouldn't say I was more, I wouldn't say I was less. Uh, How about okay, that? So, you, so you've gone to try and get the vote there. I can see no. what you're <laughs> Neil, justify yourself against this guy. I mean, you're more mountain bike than us. I mean, what's the real DNA of a mountain bike? Are. I think well, we don't just ride, you're mm. obsessed by riding. So you watch the races, your yeah. Instagram is full of riding, and you go mm. on the internet, all you want to look at is riding stuff. That makes you a mountain biker. Surely. I quite like that. I quite yeah. like that answer is what you're looking at, what you're inspired by. Yeah, just really. getting out on your bike. Now, what we got me thinking about this is at the weekend there was this event, Hardline, okay? It's, 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 it's like a, another version of racing, an incredibly hard track that only an elite few can do. Really, yeah. not many of us could even look down that track and think how to get down. It's so difficult, big jump. It's so big. And then you've got to try and go fast, which adds this incre incredible level, yeah. level to it. But is that mountain biking? Because it's so re removed from what any of us can do. It got me thinking, what is the real mountain biker? Is it the guys who are out there, you guys, out there riding every weekend, weekend warriors, loving it for the love of mountain biking? Or is it Jackson Goldston who can get down that track faster than anybody in the world? Is there such a thing as a real mountain biker? Ah, I like that question. I like is, that question. The, is, is there such a thing as a real mountain bike? Well, you know what? Neil. I watched Hardline. I thought it was brilliant. And mm. loads of my friends were there. You could see the type of people that went there to watch the races. Everyone. It was kids. Mm. Yeah. It was all sorts of different mountain bikers. And I think that's what inspires people, like we talked about a bit. And I mm. thought it was a pretty inspirational race, to be fair. Pretty crazy stuff going on there. And it uh, that sort of inspires the next generation as well, mm. mountain bikers. Was it that on. hard? I think it was. I thought we saw a lot of people go and not ride. Yeah. Or they rode a bit in practice. There's quite a few injuries, quite a few mm. uh, broken yeah. collarbones or... Mm. A lot of injuries. Jess blew it. Yeah. Uh, George Brannigan. Yeah. Broke uh, collarbone, yeah. yeah. Brannigan. 
and she was doing all right. Yeah, yeah, she was yeah, handling really until, until that. Well, I mean, well. obviously, it was hard. But what I mean by is it harder? Is it harder than a, a World Cup downhill race on like Val de Sol? Is it really harder Ooh. than that? Because that is. Exceptionally I think it's really hard to compare the two things. Now, it's so different. Like, mm. you could get someone from the Fest series who's riding mm. those stuff in Belgium, the, mm. what they call the Nico Vink jumps are massive. Like, yeah. those jumps and go, yeah, that's, that's the jump that I do. <laughs> but it's the bits in between is completely different for them. Yeah, and you're yeah. getting, like, obviously, Jackson Golson, that I've said, is kind of rider designed for that thing. He yeah. can do that and that. But there aren't many of them, as we saw, the mm. competition, kind of the gaps between people, mm. there aren't that many people that can do that stuff really fast. Yeah. And I don't know where it sits in the whole scheme of mountain bike racing. Who knows? Um, I mm. was a mention upstairs in the office. Uh, the guys from Alf Deutsch said that maybe what we should do at Hardline is add in bonus points if they do tricks on the big jumps. Oh, my like a speed and style type thing. My question was, do we add time to a Fest series or do we add tricks <laughs> to a Hardline? You pick, you ruin one of them. <laughs> so, I mean, it's interesting. Let us know what you think about Hardline. I definitely enjoyed it, but I do wonder, is it really harder than a World Cup downhill race? I'm not sure. Um, but what I really want to get, these guys are dodging the question, okay? And I, I'm going to let you guys decide, right? And then we're going to get on to the news. I want you to let us know in the comment section down below, be harsh, right? Pick one. Who's the most mountain bike out of the GMBN presenters? <laughs> is it Rich Payne? Is it Neil what? Donahue? Is it Blake Sampson or Martin Ashton? I don't know. I don't know. But whoever it is, whoever it is, <laughs> will be the champion of the presenters and the most mountain bike of all of us. It's a bit of fun, let's all find right. out. Um, good chat though, guys. We're going to come back to that in a little bit, but first, let's take a look at the news with Toff. Okay, I know it's not mountain biking, but this week's sick thing has to be this bouncy wheels to drop out trick from Tate Ross Kelly. So if you're new to this trick, Tate actually invented it in 2018, and then since then we've seen countless pros put their own spin on it, from Jake 100 to Fabio Widmer. Anyway, a few weeks ago, Tate did this like insane front foot roly poly to drop outs. And then just now did the most insane trick shot front wheel bouncy all over the place. How on earth does he do this? He works really hard and it takes 346 tries. That's how he does it. Right, that's my sickest thing this week. Time to go back to the shed. Right, I just want to talk about the shop a minute, guys. We've got two new race jerseys. Look at these. Love it. Very nice. Uh, I can't wait to get one of those. Mm. Um, you can get those with our bundle and you get 10% off. We've also got new shorts and new base layer. So definitely get over to the GMBN shop, support us that way and get yourself some great merch. We'd love that. And We'd if you want to always. save some pennies and if you're into indoor training, head over to GCN social media because they're giving away what's well, competition to win a uh, Brand new Wahoo kicker or kicker bike. Let's, get let's, let's keep going with the show um, with all that news. Uh, let's get into Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! Hacks and Bodges! Got the fun's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun's well up. done. Brilliant. Right. Good one, guys. Into, into Hacks and Bodges, and we're starting with, I quite like this, the old disc, the old disc yeah. brake cover. What is think, that made from? I don't know. It looks like some kind of bag, which is actually a really good idea. It looks I really like, like this. an old anorak. Yeah, um, I was going to go with like some velvet curtain. Or something. Yeah, what I what I do is similar oh, to this, curtain. and why I thought it was really cool and saw that Louis had sent this in is I put a little uh, ripcord bag over my disc oh, yeah. brake, and that does the same thing. You can just tie it tight on the inside, and it covers it over. Just gives you. It, I don't know if it keeps it completely you know what clean. I do? What, don't spray anything near my disc brake. <laughs> That's actually a really good because <laughs> I know I know actually I remember back in the day Steve Meats used to do this but I was thinking like if you, if you just spray stuff all over it you're gonna wipe it over you could risk wiping it over your disc as you take the thing off. That's a really good point actually I hadn't thought about that. Just keep it well. I'm probably putting more oil on it. Louis, this is not going to win Hacks and Podges so, this week. Oh no, um, sorry Louis. Louis, sorry about that. Neil might have just ruined it for you. Um, next up, we have got, uh, I really like this one, some cable tidies. You'll like this, yeah, Neil. Yeah, I've had mm. bike come like that before. Maybe oh. not those exact ones, but yeah, yeah. kind That's of. That's like what we've got on the back is, of our desks, isn't it? This is from yeah, Dan. Yeah. Rich, what do you think? You don't seem you don't seem into this one. No, I, no, I, no, I do, because uh, a messy cockpit is so annoying when you've yeah. just got cables sprouting out left, right and centre. Yeah. So I am actually all for this. I I just do it with electrical tape myself, actually. Yeah, but I do it with shrink wrap. Yeah. Occasionally, sometimes it's a pain to do it. Yeah. 
But uh, anything that I mean, this looks quite nice, quite tidy. Shrink wrap's a pro level of that. It is. It? It's, it's a bit more than faff. Yeah. Take your bloody brain yeah. 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 That's okay, done. Nice. It says perfect way to tidy up the usual snake's wedding. Mm. Snake's, snake's wedding. wedding. I like, like that it, as well. Like it. Um, next up, we have got. Oh, I like this. Whoa. Okay, so this is from Janek, and he is basically he's been trying to use. Um, get used to bleeding his brakes the SRAM way, you know, where you've yeah, got all the like, Shimano way, we've got a little cut. Yeah. Shimano way's the best, it's but, so good. No, but Yannick doesn't like no? it, he's going with the Magura way, and this is what I'm used to. Oh. Basically, you have a really big syringe, he's uh, added a thread onto this syringe, so you can direct right screw it into yeah. the, um, the cylinder. Yeah. Master um, cylinder. Master cylinder, and basically you can push an awful lot of fluid through and then bring it back up and just basically go backwards and forwards yeah. to take the air out, and you never have to like worry about drawing air in, you like on the little cup of Shimano. You know what my fat with syringe is? You, you can. Two, you get two oily syringes, mm. and then you put them in your thing and there's oil everywhere. Whereas with a little cup, mm. most of the time, you put a bit in the top, flick it a few times, drop down. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Mm. Now see, is this the difference between very experienced brake Leaders and me and Shannick, who well, are maybe the a difference bit between races well, and mechanics. Well, <laughs> SRAM, you can't do it. So you yeah. kind of you have to use syringes, which I, I yeah. don't like, but yeah. you have to. Yeah. Well, there we go. It's mm. another way to do it. I always saw this as the Magura way. This is the Magura yeah, way. Yeah, no, I'm not yeah. sure I've ever had Magura yeah. brakes. Yeah, yeah. I, I see. I've got to admit, I've only really ever had Magura the brakes that I worked ones. on, or I had Hope ones, and they just You're I didn't need to ever do anything. You put tar on the rim as well. I did used to have to put tar on the rim, and I used to grind my rim. Yeah, yeah. put coke on the rim and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, coke never works, that's a myth. It does it? Nah, never last. <laughs> you, drink, you drink it first, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just gives you the balls to actually do what you're about to do. <laughs> Next up, okay. we've got Robert's, I like this. Pepperoni. Pepperoni protein add-on. I like that he's matched it with the colour of his bike. Yep. You could crash and it looked like you've had a terrible accident. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys ever use a pepper army as your riding nutrition? No. Rich, you're going to answer no, this. No, I wouldn't. Do you I, think I, it's I, something less likely to eat at the top of a hill? <laughs> he's got two. He's double sided. He's double, he, double, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> double rami. Uh, I'll be honest, it's not. I mean, it's, it's really salty and probably yeah. not the one to go for. But uh, I mean, they are tasty. I mean, taking two sausages at the top of the hill, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> that really is weird. Um, who's going to be our Hack and Bodge winner this week? We're giving away um, a GMBN race stop. It's serious, this uh, is. Rich, you're going to get to choose this week. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the Cable Tidy guy. I cable Tidy. Name. All right. Okay. So I that... like it. I think it's a good. Neat, tidy solution. But Dan. I do like the syringe on. You were a close second. So yeah, Dan, you really are counts. a winner. Congratulations. Now, there you go. That was a, a very varied hack and bodge this week. So if you've got something you'd like to send in, get involved, send it into the GMBN uploader, and you could be winning yourself, legit, winning yourself mm. a GMBN yeah. race top next week. Nice. So don't miss your opportunity. Okay, let's keep going with the show. It's caption contest time. Talk us through this one, Neil. I wasn't here last that week. What is going on? Old school Doddy. We all know old school Doddy. He's yeah. worked for the magazines. Yeah. Now, now we yeah. work with him. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's like uh, a different well, guy. He's just hanging out on his old school bike with his old school kit and his yeah. old school glasses on. It's well funny when you look at back in the day, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Matthew Acton Varian says, Doddy, brace yourselves. Winter riding is coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he does look well packed up for he the old winter does, riding. Does, Winter. Um, EJ1 Drew says, 26 inch is more than a wheel size, it's a lifestyle. Oh, oh I like it. I like that one. And Stuart Dickens, and and through the power of modern technology, we have colorized this old <laughs> black and white photo. <laughs> How old is it? It's like mid 2000s. That last one's actually really I good. Think, I mean, I know which one I'm choosing. Stuart, I think you've won yourself a stunt mug. That's actually pretty good. That it was, one, wasn't it? it? Yeah. That's okay. Whistler, isn't it? It's like when you see those World War II recolored. I was probably that. Yeah. That is exactly what it looks like, recolored. <laughs> um, yes, uh, you are a winner. Well done, Stuart. Um, here's this week's caption contest photo. Whoa. Give us, that's a good one. Give Whoa. us your caption Whoa. for that in the comments down below. Um, and you could be winning yourself a stunt mug next week, as did Stuart. Well done, like those ones. Mm. Um, right, let's take a look at some things we like this week because there's lots of stuff. First off, we've got to talk about this crash that Bernard had at hard, Hardline. Bernard Kerr. So this was Unreal. went everywhere. Yeah, this was the, his first try on that biggest. Well, the last of the big jumps. So I think oh, they're kind of similar. And yeah, he jumped a long way. It was kind of a flat landing. It had to be. It's so long. If yeah. you build a short steep landing, obviously, that's a you know, bad idea. But he overshot his. He had a bit of a mechanical. Mm. His bike just exploded. And he was lucky to walk away from it. But he really was. The I noise mean, of it was crazy. Yeah. Oh! 
I mean, yeah. I guess it actually, in the end, did he did come back and pay for that because he was really hurt in that his final run. But he did he did qualify. Really he still well. qualified. So, yeah. Fastest, fastest. Yeah. Fast yeah. yeah. So I mean, it looked, it looked sore. I saw a picture where his shoulder yeah. looked like in his stitches. So, yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't much fun. Yeah. What a season that guy's had. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Fifth overall. He finished yeah. World Cup. Amazing. Mental. Amazing. Uh, right now we were talking about you know who's a real yeah. mountain biker. Here's a curveball for you guys. Check this out. This oh, is isn't... this is Dylan Warren. Yeah. Dylan Warren, also known as Radical Face, on, wow. um, at Radical Face on Instagram. Look at this guy riding this. This is a mountain board. Uh, yeah. Now, is this mountain biking? Well, this it is looks, how the conversation got... It looks got, pretty epic to me. This how it got started, isn't it? You showed us this. Yeah, I was scared to start the show with it, though, yeah. so I brought it in here. But yeah, I mean, is this mountain biking? I think he's using the trails in the same way we do. He is mountain biking. How's he getting around? Surely you want one of those, like, you know, oh, the, the case nice that electric thing. Oh, that'd with be, the motor underneath yeah, it. Yeah, that'd be the way to do it. Neil's already e mountain boarding. Well, this was a thing, Blind. wasn't it? Like, yeah. you'd be on, like, a kids' show. Watch out these crazy idiots out yeah. doing this thing. This is going to be massive, and then it never yeah. really was. I think Dylan, <laughs> I think Dylan, legit, right? I think this act, he's making this look pretty good, and he's doing yeah. some You said that about the one wheel thing a while ago. How's Shibby that, time, that Shibby time is making it look good, but this, I feel like this has got a <laughs> lot more in common with what we do. Rich, go on. You're not, you're not into it. It looks good. Uh, yeah. I think he rides it well. Oh, it looks all right, doesn't it? Oh, this looks like, I mean, I've <laughs> it's all my again, ACL, what? knee injuries. I can imagine trying to ride that. It does Has he like got a... broken wrists all the time? I think just... broken ankles might come into it, but yeah. I think, I think mm. Dylan, you're making it look fantastic over in Australia. Yeah, it looks all right. I like it. I'd like to see more of it. I'd like to see a big, legit edit down a big run. Like a big North Shore really? run on one of those. Like yeah. that slab that Brendan Fairclough just written down. Wow! <laughs> wow, yes. Hey, let's, lots let's talk. Finally, we could talk about a trials legend in the dirt shed. <laughs> <laughs> I could bring out that old joke. How many times have I said that joke? Uh, We're talking about Keeps on giving. Martin, yeah. do you want to talk about Oh, man. I mean, I, to <laughs> say that this guy is a god of trials riding is literally an understatement. He's, this guy was every boy, everything to every trials rider in the very early 90s. Um, he literally invented a lot of stuff you see Danny Mac do really? now. Really? Yeah. Like the side hop, he just made it up. Also, this guy literally was White the suits. greatest. Also, he's got the shortest name possible. You can't couldn't have a short name than that. Yeah, full name Op he is in, but Op he is how he's known. And he he's doing some great stuff on Instagram. I love this riding this mini penny farthing. Yeah, man, <laughs> the balance thing. I mean, he's got a quirky sense of humour. He's got this weird style at the moment where he's always wearing a white suit. Um, <laughs> but he's got his his Instagram Op he plays. He's really having a good time on it, and he he is a legit legend. If you go out on a bike with that it's guy. Quick. It's unbelievable. In, in five seconds, what's sort of piece history? Is he? Was he? Did you look up to him? What's the story? Oh yeah, him? I mean, back in the nineties, early early nineties, he was just coming to the end of his kind of superior moment. In five seconds, where he'd won every world championship, really? he'd won like ten world titles. His dad, Pedro P, owns Monty. PP. PP. Yes, he owns Monty and Ot actually yeah. ended up owning Monty. So Monty Bikes, wow. that is literally Ot Pee's bike company. Yes, yes, yeah. but I don't believe the P family are involved anymore. But yeah, legit guy and um, amazing character and he's right. Literally, I saw one of the days, me and Horsey watched him, he went into a skip in this section that they've made. Everyone had to take a dab to get out of the skip because basically Marcus just took you over the side of the skip and he went into it and no one had seen a side up before and he just side up out. Yeah. And everyone was like, he just flew. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is it? Unbelievable, unbelievable, yes. Fantastic rider, but definitely check out his Instagram. He's got a good sense of humour too. Um, now, Neil, what's this rider resilience? I quite like this. It's a, yeah. a really great campaign, something we should all take a look at. It is, actually. This is. I, I saw this from uh, a fellow friend of ours, Andy McKenna, yeah. posted yeah. this. This is a guy called Nils. And this kind of really cool thing that he's putting together, sort of get mountain bikers together, really, to talk about getting through things, to mm. be inspired and go out and do stuff. And Nils is facing a... Yeah, a pretty tough challenge himself, if I can say that. Yeah, um, it is a really cool site. It's got lots of information on there, and definitely yeah. saying I um, I think looks really cool, and I'm, I'm definitely going to try and give it a follow. Ride resilience on Instagram, and hopefully you'll be inspired as well. Yeah, wow. fantastic. Right, that was some things we liked this week. Let's take a look at what is coming up on GMBN this week. Coming up on the channel this week, we've got more Ollie Wilkins action, Blake oh, versus Ollie tomorrow, game bike. Yeah, Crikey. that'll be really good. He's brilliant, isn't he, Ollie? Yeah. He's good. Yeah, yeah. also, amazing. I gotta push some boys, because I've been set to ride for another 24 hours in Man versus Machine. Ooh. Testing out the battery life, the new Garmin, solar power. 1040, yes. yes. Can I defeat the mighty Garmin? I, Tune in at the weekend. I, know that. Out. I like the sound of that one. Um, I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to, how to scrub. Uh, this is like how to scrub uh, with Elliot Heap. 
and Blake. Yes. And I'll tell you what, this is... Who's better? Well, do you know what? I did see some rushes from Elliot riding, oh, and he is unbelievably yeah, good. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? He is yeah. unbelievably I've good. I've seen yeah, the thumbnail video. picture, and he is flat. It's so good. It's so good. So it's a great video coming up. And that is from Whistler Action that we did recently. So uh, yeah, make sure you don't miss any of those great vids mm -hmm. on GMBN this week. Right, it's time to get into the bike vault this yes. week. Check out right, some wrongs. Um, this Starting is out with not the only one of these you've seen recently. But this is a mountain cycle San Andreas. Which, lovely. if you're about my vintage, then this probably was yeah. a dream bike for about ten years. So it's the only good-looking full suspension bike for a long time. It was, it's wasn't definitely it? a super nice, but it still looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. I think so. Yeah. I tell you what would be really nice is a modern geometry version of that bike. Wow. Wow. Oh, with an idler. Yeah. What was an, the, an, an idler on it? Idler and a four. Like work out a little bit of a. Um, Four bar system. In was there, it the like new ones that came with like the Kernut shock and stuff like that? Was that them? They did carry was that on for a while. Oh no, Foes did have a Kernut shock yeah. as well. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's see uh, a new version that's of Ronnie's, it, please. By the way. Um, nice Ronnie. Next up, uh, we've got our beautiful orange oh, wow. tandem. <laughs> wow. Don't I love an orange tandem? <laughs> uh, so this is Dave's. This is Dave's. Uh, Dave ride it by himself? Surely not. Carden and Woods, I've written there in Cornwall. Juratec oh, Big Bang, inspired by Mr. Ashton's random tandem. That is gone. <laughs> There we go, wow. beautiful. Um, super nice for that one, Dave. Ooh, Next golly. up, oh, another, is that an orange or a pink? Straight um, from the building site. Is yeah. this from Craig? It's an on one. Hello, Dave. Is that what it's called? Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. I didn't realise they made a bike called that. Uh, <laughs> geometry looks good, lads. Geometry Flat. looks good. Oh, is that 27.5? I can't tell. It's such a. Uh, I reckon 29. Craig's a tall person, and that's 29. From yeah, Glasgow, that's just got this through the door the other day. It rolls over everything, and he loves it. Big I, bet, I bet you just got it through the door. <laughs> Uh, it's what are you giving it? It's nice. Nice. Okay, yeah, next nice. up we've got. That is uh, cool. Oh, look, look at, at the, that little thing. Yeah. Look at the branding. Look at the branding. Look at the little elephant and everything. Little, little Cannondale. Amazing. That, that, is, that is not just any old elephant. That's Elmer. Um, have you noticed that it's got a lefty? Elmer. It's got is a that? lefty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And a snack. It's best use of a lefty yet. Spoky dokies. What's yeah. what's Elmer? Who's Elmer? Elmer was the elephant. Come on, Rich. Um, it's very very Hello, good. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wow. super nice. Um, next up, oh, we have got. Lovely. Where's that? Oh, it's Ooh. Pete District. Yeah, Drift nice set of tannels. Jack the Ripper, Rogers well, I mean, Giant Ripper. I've come round to him. I've come round to him. Uh, I think that's a good looking bike. What are we giving that? Jack the Ripper. Super nice to me. I like, yeah. That's a good picture, I think. It is a great I've shot. I've never ridden round that. Pete I didn't think you were, there was much there, I'll be honest. Um, next up, Gavin's Common Sal Meta. I think it's a good looking bike. Mm -hmm. Hang on, wasn't Straight this in last week? I uh, recognised when I talked about the colour. Mm, really? It might have been. I wasn't it here was. last week. That was in so last week, I can't, well, I I can't, We can't vote on it. We probably super nice it last week. Alright, bye. There's another one. Um, next up, Old we've school. got a GT Aggressor. Um, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That looks like the UK, I don't know This why. is from Hydro. <laughs> Uh, I like the colour. I like the colour match. I like the colour match. <laughs> yeah, very yeah, very true. Nice, nice. That's That's nice. Triangle nice. GT ran that for. Well, I guess it's still, still do. Yeah, still do. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, next God. up, who now, put that in? This now. is in last week. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I'm not having it. That. <laughs> It's super nice. Uh, That's that Michael's. is from Michael, who now gets a proper grading, <laughs> like no. he should have done last week. Don't think I don't watch the show when I'm not here. Five hundred. You didn't know the other bike was in it. Uh, yeah, yeah but I, I actually dragged that one across when I put this one in. <laughs> anyway, um, there we are. Great, great bike vault this week, um, yes. especially that last, ye last yellow banana. Very, very cool. Um, if you have got a bicycle you would like to be graded, put it up against these big mines of the mountain biking <laughs> world and have it made. Super Super nice for uh, eternity. Then send it into the GMV uploader. We love seeing your bikes. We look at them all for far too long, um, but we do have fun mm. doing it. And you might make it onto the show. Um, right there we go. That's it for this week. Um, are, are these guys mountain bikers? Don't forget, judge them. Judge them and me. I feel like I'm not going to get many votes in this. Judge them in the comments down below. Let us know. Just write their name. Who is the most mountain biker Whoa, out of God. these mountain bikers? Let's find out for sure. Um, and until then. We will see you next week after you have loved, liked and shared on all your social channels. See, see ya. ya. Bye.